Air Conditioning System Air conditioning can be considered an essential facility for buildings in Hong Kong, in particular throughout the hot and humid summer months, which the outdoor temperature reaches well above 30 degrees Celsius. There are generally two types of air conditioning systems which are commonly adopted, namely the unitary air conditioner and the centralized air conditioning systems. Unitary air conditioners, which include window type and split type air conditioning units, are usually adopted for individual domestic flats. They consist of an indoor section for supplying cool air to the conditioned space and an outdoor section for rejecting the heat to outside. For the high-rise commercial buildings such as office buildings, hotel and shopping malls, it is undesirable to cool the individual space with separate unitary air conditioning units. The centralized air conditioning systems are used to minimize the unsightly outdoor units mingling with the elaborately designed external walls to provide better air distribution and to achieve better energy performances. A conventional centralized air conditioning system comprises one or multiple chillers which are used for chilled water production. The chilled water produced is then distributed via pipework in the building to the cooling coils of the air handling equipment at individual spaces in which air is driven by fan to blow across the cooling coil and then the cooled air is delivered into the space to achieve the overall air conditioning for the building. What is District Cooling System? District Cooling System is an even larger scale centralized air conditioning system. It consolidates the chillers required in each individual building into a central plant serving the centralized air conditioning system of the buildings in the district. The chilled water produced at the central plant will be distributed to consumer buildings through a closed loop network of underground pipes. The cooling energy required by each consumer building will be transferred via the heat exchanger installed at the building plant room connected to the distributing chilled water pipes of DCS. Why we have District Cooling System Building owners have benefited from District Cooling System as they are no longer required to install their own chillers and associated equipment from their buildings, resulting in not only a reduction in upfront capital costs from equipment installation, but it also significantly reduces environmental problems caused by noise, vibration and thermal plume generated from the chillers and associated equipment in the building. The freed up space also allows more flexible building designs and improvement in space utilization. DCS is an energy efficient air conditioning system as it consumes 35% and 20% less electricity as compared with traditional air cooled air conditioning systems and individual water cooled air conditioning systems using cooling towers respectively. The reduced energy consumption of using district cooling system helps to reduce fossil fuel consumption for power generation. Consequently, greenhouse gas emissions such as carbon dioxide, which is the leading cause of global warming, can also be reduced. District Cooling System in Hong Kong to further promote energy efficiency and conservation, the Hong Kong SAR government has implemented a district cooling system at the sustainable and environmentally friendly design KaiTak development to supply chilled water to non-residential buildings for centralized air conditioning. It is the first project of its kind to be implemented in Hong Kong. It is planned that the DCS will serve about 1.7 million square meters of non-domestic air-conditioned floor area with a total cooling capacity of about 284 megawatts of refrigeration, which is equivalent to the cooling demand of about 40 numbers of 30-story commercial buildings. To match with the development schedule of KaiTak development, DCS is being implemented in phases. Construction of the first phase commenced in February 2011. DCS operation commenced in February 2013. Currently, it is supplying chilled water to the Kai Tak Cruise Terminal and Qinglong Shopping Center. Upon full development, about 39 kilometers of underground chilled water pipes will have been laid. The annual savings in electricity consumption will be up to 85 million kilowatt hour, with a corresponding reduction of 59,500 tons of carbon dioxide emission per annum, which is approximately equal to planting 2.3 million trees in an area of the size of 120 Hong Kong Victoria Park for carbon dioxide reduction. 
The construction works of Kaitak development are still ongoing. In the coming years, commercial buildings, hotels, hospitals, schools and sports complexes will be completed in succession and ultimately, all these buildings will be provided with chilled water from the DCS.